So today our topic is theory of errors. A survey is full of taking measurements, area measurements, length measurements, volume measurements. Whenever we take a measurement, there is a chance of error, deviation of value that is supposed to be the correct value. Okay. So it can be of three types. Whenever we take a value, whenever we take a measurement, we can have errors of three types. First one, mistake. Mistake is due to the whoever is taking the measurement, his carelessness, his confusion, his lack of education or uh, his inattentionness due to all these factors, the variation in the value is called as termed as mistake, error due to mistake. Maybe the surveyor is not uh, really educated to take the measurement, maybe he don't know to how to point a tape on the uh, what is to be measured so that is called mistake error by mistake second one is systematic error systematic error is an error in a systematic manner suppose I am measuring the width of this board and I am doing it with a 20 centimeter scale and suppose 20 centimeter scale is a wrong scale with actually 19 centimeters length so whenever I take each measurement of 20 centimeters there will be one centimeter of error okay so likewise whenever we are in another situation whenever we are leveling a, an area there will be a slight change of plumb of deviation in the dumpy level. So that error will be carried on to all the values or all the values, all the site readings that we are taking through that dumpy level. Okay. So these kinds of errors are called systematic errors. That errors or mistakes which are systematic in nature that can be quantified. You can find that in later calculation. If you have that scale, you can calibrate it and find out the correct value if you know you if you have the dumpy level you can uh, correct it later and you can have the correction with all the previously taken side values okay so systematic error can be corrected but it, it can be a very big process but it is possible okay and that is systematic error and third one and the last one is accidental errors And we are more concerned about accidental errors for the time being because accidental errors is the one which cannot be measured or quantified these two errors can be quantified or maybe reduced to a certain extent but accidental errors is very difficult to find out and very very much hard to find the amount of okay so in our main concern will be accidental errors okay if so if you take suppose this is suppose we are taking a measurement and zero error value is here this line vertical line and this is positive error and this is negative error okay this will be the distribution of accidental errors there will be more number of zero error values but there will be equal number of positive error and negative error values okay so accidental errors cannot be found out ac accurately but we can quantify and reduce its effects okay so we have three types of errors mistakes systematic errors and accidental errors and we are more concentrating on accidental errors we are moving on to definitions definitions for starting this uh, main topic we need to understand some to some terms and definitions first one is independent quantity independent quantity is 
a measurement or observation we are talking all about measurement suppose this width of uh, board or the distance between the camera and the board anything okay or the height of the board and the so independent quantity is simply a measurement or observation taken independently without having any relation with any other things okay so if suppose i am taking the width of this board there is a value 0 0.70 meter it has nothing to do with any other value that's that is just 0.7 meters okay you will notice the change in the next one second one conditioned quantity conditioned quantity is any quantity that is having a condition with it suppose I am taking an angle measurement of a triangle A B C angle A angle B and angle C okay so first angle I am measuring and I have got it as 90 degree okay that is an independent measurement there is nothing to do with any other value that is an independent measurement second value I am taking it as 60 degree and that also is an independent value there is nothing to do with any other value it can be 60 degree of course it can be 60 degree but this third thing is conditioned quantity because we know that angle A plus angle B plus angle C should be 180 degree the sum should be 180 degree so it will be a angle C will be a conditioned quantity okay there will be a condition pertaining to it and that value that we are taking should adhere to or confer to this condition okay so that is condition quantity and independent quantity next one next one direct observation and indirect observation direct observation is taking the values directly if I am taking a distance from A to B from A to B I am just taking distance from A to B okay the difference is in case of indirect observation if suppose with a theoda light we are taking an angle measurement in as in repetition method okay so what we did this is a station we took one time and we got it as 30 degree we send back the telescope to A and again we repeated the experiment or the angle measurement again we will add that 31 degree if it is 31 degree and again we will send back and we will again take the value as 30 degree ok so this time the angle A O B is 30 plus 31 plus 30 by 3 okay we could have taken it directly by just one repetition but instead we took it indirectly by three repetitions as a repetition method we took first time it was 30 degree 31 degree 30 degree in the third time so the final value will be 30 degree 20 minutes okay so this is an indirect observation we are not we didn't take this value by just looking at a and b we had a procedure we took it by three times repeating an experiment and by solving a problem we took the value as 30 degree 20 minutes and we believe this is the correct answer okay and the next one weight of an observation this one is important 
weight of an observation is a number which denotes the accuracy level of that observed value if suppose 20 centimeter is a taken value or observed value I have taken a measurement as 20 centimeter and if I have not specified any weight value with it it is by default weight is 1 if suppose I have not specified weight by default it is 1 okay and suppose I am taking the same observation second time as I'm, and I am getting it as 20.1 centimeter and the weight I am giving it is 2 okay so I mean by this is 20.1 is twice accurate than 20 okay that is the meaning of this weight value if suppose I have a number I have a weight 1 and I have another value weight 2 that is I am giving different weights then I mean that with different weights the precision or the accuracy with which I have taken that measurement is varied in this case 20.1 is twice accurate than 20 point 20 centimeter if suppose again I am taking 20.05 centimeters with weight 4 this is of maximum accuracy than 20.1 at 20 okay we have seen this or we have studied many other uh, math mathematical problems this is just something we should be known for taking measurements also okay so weight is a number that denotes the accuracy of observation or measurement okay weight less means less accuracy and weight more number means more accuracy okay so moving on observed value observed value is the value or observation that we measured and eliminated error due to mistakes and systematic errors Okay. so observed value is a value that you have measured and eliminated these two kinds of errors so the only error that is yet to be addressed is accidental errors okay in observed value so we take a measurement and we eliminate the errors by mistake and eliminate the errors by systematic errors and that value is called as observed value next one true value true value is by the name indicates is the ultimate true value of an observation if suppose 20.1 is a measurement I have taken I know 20.1 is not the accurate answer there will be an accurate answer for 20.1 instead of 20.1 and that is an ideal situation okay so true value is an ideal value that cannot be found out by theoretical means or practical means and it is the most accurate it is the absolute measurement final measurement of an observation okay and true value is a value that is obtained by true value is equal to observed value minus true error so true error is the error that is to be applied for the observed value to get true value these two 
true value and true error as i as in ideal situation we cannot actually find out true value or true error okay the next one most probable value most probable value is the one we can find out by mathematical means most probable value is found out by is equal to observed value minus most probable error okay and most probable value is the nearest value to true value nearest to true value that can be mathematically find out okay so true value is an ideal situation we cannot find it out but mpv we can find out with mathematical means and to find out mathematically we have to find most probable error and by applying it in observed value we will get most probable value okay so these are the main terms and definitions that should be aware of to proceed in this next coming portions okay